Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I got him. All right. I know this is designed to be hard, but some health would be very, very nice right now. Oh, he got over that one. Oh, there's another one. Come on. Alright, there's another one. Oh, man. Another one. Alright. Oh, the boss the boss music is actually really good. I got him again. Oh man, this is just a difficult fight. And I I heard them coming. I got him again. Another one. Alright. Okay, I thought that got me. Did you get one? I think I got him a couple times there. Oh, man, these. Well, I can. A couple. There goes one. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he got, he got him. Got him for me. Kill this one. All right, more, more of spawn. That sucks. Okay, there goes. You got a little bit. You're getting rid of a couple for me. Oh. Okay. Ooh. That was really close. <laughs> oh, the noises in this game. They are delightful. I keep shooting them, but it's not really doing anything for me. Okay, I got... Okay, he's down. Alright. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level. Quack, activate the wall and roof lasers. Oh, no. Okay. Or the buttons all look so similar. Quack, you bird brain. Oops. I think I hear the phone ring. I best go answer it. This is... This is not good. Okay. Oh, I can't just hit him? Oh. I've got to do the whole thing over again. Alright, this is going to take some editing. I think. Hopefully that this... God. Alright, no checkpoint for me. There's one hell of a fight, though. I, I'm going to try to edit as much as I can. Get out of this uh, little situation here. Whatever. 
Third time's gonna be the charm. <laughs> Trick. All right, getting through this one much quicker now. There's four. We got four done. <laughs> All right. Fresh off the production line, yada yada yada. All right. Frankly, you can shoot him while he's up there. You can get him. It's uh, right. Got him a couple times, I think. I got him a couple times with that. Get ahead of him. Got him twice. Shooting ahead of him. Oh, come on. 
Oh. That was bullshit and we all know. And on those. Alright. Those. I don't know how many times you have to shoot him, but I've hit him quite a few times. God! Alright. And there's there's no option for health on this one at all. I can't imagine children being able to beat this. I got him. Alright. Okay. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level. Yep, upstairs. You go upstairs, hold Y, yada yada yada. You've already seen this? Seen this once? Alright. He's gonna belly flop me as much as he can. B version of Snorlax here. Learn that we can't attack him while he's doing this. Bread something something. Oh, I gotta do that some more. All right, I see, I see. Now I'm hoping this is just like stage three of his uh, his nonsense, and here's the final stage. Oof. Heavy landing. All right. That's a, a double hit, kind of. I, mean, I could obviously just fly away at this point. <laughs> Come on. I'm not reading that at all. All right, good. Time to invest in more toxic ooze and increase your share holding in pain. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, man. This is impossible. Alright, I mean, I know I'm gonna have to fight, have this fight one more time. I almost guarantee it. Oh, damn it! I was so close. Those things don't go away. Alright, so we've learned to get... We've learned to go through it. <laughs> we've learned to get yeah. Two hours later. I've been going for just about an hour of this fight. Ugh. Okay. So close. Okay, there's two. Okay, come on, one more. Zooming through it. Corporate crates mixed up with the ammo crates. Oh, jeez. This is. I think this is. I want to say this is the hardest one, but it's not. I think this is the most time-consuming. It's the easiest one to take damage on. I'll say that. It's quite the. Uh, I want to say boost. Oh. Oh, I got him on 
couple times there. There's a bunch right there. Shit. Alright. Alright. There's a couple right there. Try to get ahead of them, maybe. Lead the shot. My battlefield experience should be helping me out here, but it's not. Oh boy, I'm not. I'm not ammo. Alright. Oh, just one needed one more shot, and I ran out right before he stopped. Such a shame. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next level. I think I took one damage that entire time. I ran into a, a corklet. I'm gonna let you guys read this because I've been reading this like <laughs> I think I'm on number 15. That does make me impervious to basically everything, if I remember correctly. But I'm not going to test it, because this this feels like a good chance to, uh, to do it. If I finally end this one. Oh, time to invest in more toxic news and increase your shareholder and pay. Yeah. Go away. All right. We got it. All right. Two. Three. There we go. Get rid of them. Stomp on his cooter. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna start getting rid of these. Oh, damn it. That was my fault. I was just busy playing with my hair. I've taken too much damage in this phase of hair. Oh god, I did it again! Okay, I des I deserve to lose this one. I went after him when I shouldn't have. that face. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of them. We know what we're doing. Loosely. Loosely understand what we're doing. I have more health than I had last time, I think. Faster now. I guess it's not gonna happen. Come on, bees. Oh, that was so lucky. Alright. Okay. I had no stamina left. Time for the character to soar and release some explosive equity. 
You types never learn. You always end up taking yourselves down. Yeah, well, I've never learned either, because I'm literally just dying over and over again. <laughs> literally figuratively, literally in real life. Alright. Time to fly! That was really close. I didn't get, oh well, got me anyway. Shit. Turn around and get him. Alright. I need the stamina. in front of your dad here. Pop a stinger missile. Missile, I need you to hurry up. I am running out of stamina. Stamina. Go, 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 go. Okay. These ones are moving a whole lot faster this time. Okay, I got him with one. I almost, I almost got him with the other. Okay, okay come on, please. One of, one of you hit him. One of you hit him. Not me. Not, not. Go, 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 go. All right. He's going so fast. Where these missiles look like? I am eating one of those. Okay. We have to try it better this time. He's launching three. I can't I can't keep up with him. I have to anticipate where he's going to go next. And hope I hit him. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. We have to go back the other direction. Yes! Did I do it? <gasps> Two achievements. Potion commotion and out of business. <laughs> That's so long. Gurn. And a board with that, Mr. B. Yeah. Yeah. performance at all. I should report you. <laughs> no way. I can still win. Don't grasp me up. Uh, hold on. I thought Capital B was the boss around here. Oh, he's been a cog in the machine. I'm here to monitor the key facts and truth, and then present them to the real bosses. In peace to digest the whole thing for him. <laughs> that explains the quiz questions. Anyway, time for talk is over, fellow features. <laughs> we'll be taking our book back now. Stop. When Violet gets their hands on it, it will the world. Be quiet, Mr. Bean. Remember, the United States and our contracts are for you to disclose secret information. These are not employees. No matter, we take them back to the end of the day and end the adventure permanently. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, God. Oh, 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 stuck in my throat. Oh, 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 assistance. Oh, 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 All about their secret organization. Oh, ha, oh, ha, oh, 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 Thanks. Why am I reading this? The oh, Hornbug Blasto had a piece of fun with playing with the book. And ended the Ivory Tower's evil scheme for good. Oh, we've been told it's not for good. That magic book's going straight in the safe when I get home. It'll only appreciate the value. Sorry. Yeah, let's do that. Wish we got some victory music or something. That would have been fun. I've got a lot of editing to do now. It took chuffing ages to make all those collectibles dance. <laughs> Shipwreck Creek. Our weights with them. <laughs> I'm not not the grand party, young warriors. I'm not not <laughs> without mind embarking on a noble quest for more cake. I think you've had enough. <laughs> now, now, it's not for you. We're all here to celebrate the heroic acts of Brave Blasto. Yes, very brave. <laughs> that loose cannon almost blew our heads off. One question, fellas. What exactly did we all do with that unsavory scoundrel capital B? Oh, he's in a book. No need to worry about him anymore, Carlos. Thanks to Lady and I, that chapter's been permanently closed. I've almost gone and made it as genuine heroes. You just have to wait for the next line. Almost. I risk my neck finishing this game. Me too. Calm down, Bailey. I'm sure there will be plenty of time to top up our heroes in the future. Now, let's kick back and enjoy the massive credit scroll. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Platonic team. That's the end of uh, ukulele. I think it's just ukulele. Whatever, whatever the ukulele and the yada 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 on the end of it. But there, yeah, that's the uh, the end. I enjoyed this game a lot, even though sometimes I I felt like I uh, was working too hard to get through it. Hopefully, I have all this edited up and ready to go. And, um, no, I, I actually just in, enjoyed this game, you know? I, I'm all over the place right now. I've had to pee for like an hour. Um, but before we, before I go and do that, I want to kind of give it a little bit of review. Uh, this game came out in 2017, I believe. So, three years after the fact. At this point, four years maybe. It might be 20, 2021 by the time I actually get this out. Uh, every other day kind of stuff, but the game was fun. I, I really enjoyed it. It was one of those um, spur of the moment, like, I've, I've been wanting to play this for a really long time, and then I got a suggestion from, uh, from a friend, and, and she said, yeah, you'd probably enjoy it. You like Banjo-Kazooie. We talked about Banjo-Kazooie quite a bit. And, oh, shit. Well, I might as well play it. So I did, and uh, here we are. We're at the end of it. <laughs> Ta-da! 
But yeah, that, that's um. Probably. Uh, pro yeah, that's definitely the end. Mark Nut. Shovel Knight. Extra special thanks. This isn't actually very long. I thought it would be a whole lot longer. Wow. All our backers. <laughs> well, that's, uh... Friendly Dinosaur, A.S. Craven, a.k.a. Ghost Bulla, the Bussy. Okay, um, but I, I don't know what to grade this quite yet. I want to say, I'm, I want to give this an 8.6. Um, there's really nothing, nothing bad in the game. I would say that, that I wish the lever levels were a little bit more planned out. There was a little bit more st stuff to do. Uh, that were, that wasn't the same thing from each one. I wish Cardos... I, I like Cardos being in all of them. Maybe he wasn't, wasn't in all of them. But I like Cardos being in all of them, but I I wish there was newer stuff to do in each one. Like There, there were like little things to do. Like... I, on Galleon Galaxy, you helped the frogs out in the front. You, you did that kind of stuff, but I, I wish there was more like a story to each level. Um, it, it was very brief, and a majority of, it felt like a majority of the pages kind of just came from exploring through all the all the stuff, and it was like, here's a puzzle where you need to be invisible. Here's a puzzle that you need to do fast. Here's a puzzle where you're going to be sliding. Here's a puzzle where you're going to be gliding. Here's a, here's a puzzle when you're going to be um, gliding with air... Events. Uh, here's one. Here's a bunch that you're gonna have to do by becoming a ship, a boat, sorry, a ship slash boat, a plow truck, a washing machine. I don't know what the one on, what the, on the marsh was. I know there was a washing machine in uh, Banjo Kazooie. That that was one of the funniest things ever. I think that that was the first time you got changed on the uh, snow level. That music haunts my mind, but I love it. Yeah, there's plenty of, uh, yeah, there's also plenty of, not drawbacks, but, they, um, plenty of retro lookbacks, I want to say, uh, lookbacks is probably not the right word, um, back at the, um, at Banjo-Kazooie, where you had to use pages to open up more books. Uh, we have to use puzzle pieces to open up more puzzles, and that's more levels, and the books are levels. Um, same, same kind of thing. I love that. I, I it, This was a, a huge kick in my nostalgia balls. <laughs> I, yeah, that's not the right way. It, 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 I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I like going back and... Wow, uh, somebody's name is Adolfo. Adolf. That, that name has not died out like I thought it did. Hey, yo, who me um, but yeah, there was, um, frankly, it, it was a fun game that tugged at my heartstrings a little. Uh, being 27 years old, I, I grew up on Banjo-Kazooie, and I always wanted Banjo-Tooie, but we had, like, a blockbuster card, which unlocked the realm of possibilities of all other kinds of games, yet except all I did was get Super Smash Brothers, um, and every now and then I'd get something else. I, I really... There, yeah, I, there were a lot of games that I, I didn't play when I was a kid that I would like to do a series on. Games that I didn't finish either. I think Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers. Those games were just kind of short enough that I understood what I was doing for the most part. You know. Oh yeah. 8.6. Uh, the story was fun. Uh, it it definitely poked fun at it at itself being a video game which is uh strange but it was all right um a lot of alums here we're in the special thanks here let's uh fast forward a little bit 
if, if you think you're gonna find your name, make sure you pause because we're still in the A's. A lot of Alex's here. If your name is Alex, and you might want to start pausing. Um, but yeah, I, I I thought the game was uh, everything that it meant to be. Um, it didn't try to be any more. It didn't end up being any less of a game for it. I, that, that's kind of a hard thing to unpack with my own mind, so hopefully you guys can figure out what I just said. Um, but, like, the game didn't get worse because it acknowledged that it was a video game. Now, I would say that Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I played that game, and I think I got 100% of it when I was on my Xbox uh, when it came out. Um, I think I tried to 100% it, and I was doing stuff like just building building cool cars and stuff like that, but cool was very subjective on what it actually was. Um, the, the game was actually not fun, and the more that it, it said that it was a video game, the less I liked it. It was... It was the wrong direction for Banjo-Kazooie, in my opinion. And I think in the opinion of most, uh, most buyers and most people who played it, like, it, the game was... But if you played it and you beat it, you thought it was okay. But there were there were parts of it that were just like, this doesn't need to exist. I think that's the last game that I've really had buyer's remorse on. But this game I don't. This game was a, was great. It really brought back the nostalgia from Magic Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 and Super Mario 64 and all those uh, classic platformers on the Nintendo 64 that I grew up with. And it was just fun. I keep saying it, but it, it, that's the sole purpose of this of the game. The game is to have fun. There are games that exist not to have fun, but because it's pretty to look at, or because it's hard. Or there there are games that you have to make your own fun out of. Uh, I I like a lot of those games. Like there are some games where you have to make your own fun, but it's also fun to do that. Uh, there are some games that aren't. That, that you have to make your own fun to do. Um, this isn't one of them. This isn't one that you really have to make your own fun, because I don't know if you could. Things that would help me as a content creator, I would like to say don't really matter in this. I um, went with the 8.6. I kind of said what was Let's go back through that. 8.6, what's wrong with it? Um, wish the levels were more fleshed out. I wish there was newer, st different stuff, more of a story in each of, each of the levels. Um, I don't necessarily like the whole expanding of the levels to try to get everything. I, I wish there was a better way to all that it doesn't seem I, the only other thing I can think of is just drop that and then put put things in there where it, put things in the game where it's like you have to have this or you win you cannot pass this point and then put up things like you can't you don't know this move so you can't go any farther and then that'll push them towards the next one instead of having to come back and spend pages to open things Right. Just make sure, like, backtracking is something you have to do because you've earned, you've learned new moves, and uh, that's not just for content creators. I, I think that's just a better way to build the levels than having to expand them. Now, I th I like the idea to a point, uh, but once you unlock flying, the whole game is easy. Like, it the whole thing is speed speed run. So if if you were as a content creator that could possibly go through here and I could, I could think of a way to speed run this that would just be get as many of the quills as you can, buy the first move, get out, buy, the, buy all the moves you need to to move on in each level until you get to the point where you learn how to fly. Then you go back and you just collect. That's it. You can collect to 100, get out of there. Uh, end up level five, go into the into the fight, knowing what you're doing. That's all you need. 
frankly, you, you can speedrun this game, I would say, fairly easily. This seems like one of the easier speedruns. There there's definitely some that you don't have to do that with. Um, but there's 20 in Hyvary. 20 of those pages in Hyvary Tower. And then you only have to get... Let's do the math in my head. You need to average 17 and a half. Am I right? No. Get me right. You need to get 20 on... on th on four levels. You don't have to get any on, on another one. As long as you know where they are, you know how to get them, and you know, you know the easiest way to get some of them, there are some really long ones that aren't worth it. So, yeah, you only need three to expand the first level, and the first level is so easy once you can start flying. Like, there were things that I was, I was doing that was just like, oh, I can go ahead and try to do, do the, uh... Oh, like the gem thing? I could've just flown up there and gotten the gem. Or, um... The one where you have to get the totem poles to give you the secret path. You could just fly over the secret path and then stop on the thing and open it. Open it. It's, once you get the flying, it's so easy. Um... But that's not necessarily a negative. I actually liked that. Uh... Like, at the very end, once you learn how to fly... There you go. Because if you had enough of the power, or enough of your stamina, you could do some some serious running through everything. I really like the boss battles. The boss battles were funny. Um, some things were just kind of unneededly hard. I would say like the bullet hell style stuff. Um, the, those are just difficult for, for me. I think difficult for players that are a, of a younger age because uh, it just keep getting hit. And I get it, you gotta get better at everything, but it, it, bullet hell stuff is just barely fun. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to get through. I don't, don't know anyone who just finds that to be fun that's into platformers. But yeah, I kind of want to just say that's, that's it for me. I want to just let this go. Oh, the, the, let's talk about the good things. The music, great. Um, the composers for the for the music did a great job. The their actual players, uh, their musicians that they had, did a phenomenal job. Um, that bassoon player he needs a raise. <laughs> it was either bassoon or Barry Sax. I want to say bassoon. He deserves a raise. Um, I wish there was more music. I wish there was a victory song at one point, uh, but I'm not going to take any points away from that. I'm not going to, like, that's minus 10%. That's not worth it. Um, dialogue was fun and funny. Um, like, e even for me, it was funny. Uh, Dr. Quack, one of the funniest characters... Uh, Funniest ideas for a character I've ever seen um, actually put in, into play. Mm. The duck was hilarious. I, I, the duck's quizzes were great. Dr. Quack's quizzes were awesome. Um, Different enemies would have been fun, but I'm not going to take away on that one. Um, and what else? Dialogue, music. Hyvary Hi Towers itself was a really cool map. I just wish it was easier to get around. And I would say four out of five levels were fun. I like the snow one. Tribal stack. I think the one I didn't, I, I liked the least was Galleon Galaxy. Uh, that is the funniest boss fight, though. Where you, you 
have to shoot the moon in his butthole. <laughs> that one's... That's... It, it's hilarious. It's one of the funniest things. <laughs> there's, a, there's a flying ball sack around here. I... I still laugh about what that thing... Because it was all jiggly and shit, too. <laughs> game was... This is a, a play for me. Like, if you guys are looking for a platformer to play, definitely buy ukulele. It's, de it's a nostalgic throwback to... Um, it's a nostalgic throwback to uh, games of my childhood uh, platformers in general. 3D platformers, which I, I, I prefer. 3D platformers over 2D. I, I'm just not good at 2D games. That's basically it. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys sit here and watch the rest of the uh, rest of the credits. Thank you to every uh, everyone here, the, the backers who helped Playtonic make this game. Whether it was just a dollar on whatever they crowdsource us off on, or. I could just quit, quit out of this. I, yeah, we're, we're gonna quit out of this. And, um, usually I like to let the credits go because a lot of people deser deserve the, the thanks on there. Um, those of you who got the special thanks, I want to thank you myself. I, I wasn't able to read all your guys' names because I wanted to get out of there at some point, but... Um, a oh, Rextro. That was just fun. I enjoyed Rextro. Um... Boom, boom. But yeah, people who crowdfunded this, thank you. You guys created, uh, helped create a, uh, a wonderful game that really uh, tugs at the height, uh, heartstrings. You know? I already said that once, but I, I, I'll say it again. This game really feels um, like a game I would have played when I was when I was a kid. I would have played with my dad sitting around and and my mom. Um, and my dad would have critiqued the music. <laughs> he probably still would. Um, I'm talking like my dad's dead. He's not. Uh, but yeah, this is... Ukulele. 8.6. Probably not going to be doing uh, the next one. Kind of want to leave it right here. I don't want to... I, I feel like the sequel is going to be a disappointment, but... It may not be. I, I'll, I'll do some reading and see how I feel. If you guys uh, enjoyed the series, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see. You want to see the, the sequel to this? I'll, I'll see what I can do. If you guys want to see... I don't want to play Serious Sam again, but if you guys want to see Serious Sam, Serious Sam, I have it on my channel. Uh, any suggestions on games that you want, want to see on the channel, you want to hear me play, you want to see me edit through and get pissed off at, uh, let me know. And that'll have to be it for Ukulele. Uh, make sure you follow me here, uh, subscribe here, follow me on Twitter, because everything that happens here happens on Twitter first. And yeah, that'll have to be it for me. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.